YouTube, what it do is your boy Life of Coach D. Hey man, we out here today. Going to my favorite spot. Y'all already know what time it is. Hobby Town. You know what I'm saying? You could be asking yourself, what is Coach D up to today? Hey. Might be picking up something new. You never know. So stay tuned, stick around. It's your boy Life Coach D. I'll be right back. Oh, All right, YouTube, we're back. Like I told y'all, at my local hobby town today, out here in Sanford, Florida. Coming out here, sneak peek. Y'all already know what I'm about to do, man. Y'all already know what we about to show y'all. Access to none other than the Arma Felony. Y'all see it. We're gonna do this a little different today. We got my man behind the camera today. We got my man Archie. Archie gonna help us today with this unboxing. So we're gonna do the unboxing of the felony. We're gonna get this thing out the box. And since I just got permission, we're gonna take it out back after we do the unboxing and we're gonna demo this thing. So we're gonna be right back with you fellas as soon as we get this out the box. Details. Yes, sir. See the ghost image and right. the armor on and underneath it. Yeah, and the bodies between the orange and the black are accessible. So whatever accessories not that you get on the orange may not necessarily be on the black. Like the hood scoop that may be interchangeable. And all those things you bend your uh, spoiler. Right. So I mean, all these things, man. I mean, you got the split spoiler up front here. I mean, this thing is this thing is customizable, baby, and it's very nice. That's right. We're gonna get the, we're about to get this lid off, fellas. So sit tight. All right, fellas, we back. Like y'all can see, we got it out in course. Y'all already know what's inside. We're gonna go ahead and bust it open and show y'all anyway. They got your manual. Got your manual. Got you some extra parts. Got your hood accessories in there. And everything, get you a few little tools. Have your optional gear in there. I believe that's 27 tooth for you right there. Uh, let me see. And of course, it got your instruction manual. So we can go ahead and crack and it open. Some of your, we'll crack it open. So let's see inside. what's in there. All right. Look at that. You know what? That's new to me. That is new. I'm going to have to figure out what that is. Right. That's new to both of us right there. I'm going to let y'all see this because this, this is not your antenna tube. <laughs> so we told y'all, hey, this is on the fly. This is raw. This is raw and un uncut. Look, I want y'all to see this, but we're going to figure out what this is and we'll let y'all know by the end of this exactly what that what that is. We don't know yet. Italian. Ain't no need to fake in the pump, right? Right. There you go. Hood accessories there. Here's your blower. Oh, man. There's a there's option your opinion. Option opinion right there. 27 tooth mod one, baby. Woo. Some more spare parts for you, just some yeah. of the plastic accessories. That's your inner cooler like that. for the front right there, that long gray piece. Okay. Some more accessories. Get more optional hood parts in there. I think that turbo that might be in that other bag. I'm okay. not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But guys, they definitely give y'all. Oh yeah. They definitely. Yep. There goes exactly. the other bag right there with your accessories in this thing. Exactly, man. Oh, so it's nice. Yeah, and nice, of course man. you got the tire tool that they. You know that right there. Your sticker okay. sheet. Got this sticker sheet there. You want to use that? You know what I'm saying? And this right here is your uh, maximum performance. Helps you to understand. If you've never done it, you don't understand the 27 tooth. Stepping it up helps you to figure out what's your best performance option right here. And you guys can see if you do put on that speed pinion gear, you can hit up to 80 plus miles an hour. So. Yeah, yeah. And I think a lot of guys have to understand when you're using that speed pinion, it's about it's about the drag. It's not about the bash. So you have to realize with the taller pinion, um, the more power you put on it, you create heat. So you want to try to avoid the heat. So if you go with that taller pinion, you want to hit that drag and that's it. But if you want to be able to bash, you want to be able to do some drifting or whatever, then go back to the original. And, uh, Tech tip of the day. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yes. Yeah, and here you go. Hey, here's your manual, man. Let me pull that out of there. Yep, there's your, your manual. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. See what the detail. So yeah. Over in there. All right. So this shows you guys typical stuff. Please charge your lipos in a lipo safe bag. Yeah. You, telling you what you need: charger, batteries for your remote. Listen, this is raw and uncut, not normal. I don't know if that's it right there. Uh, some still, of your uh, accessory, yeah. your hood accessories, right there. Telling you how you could dress that up and everything. All right, here we go, baby. We're gonna unveil this thing, take the lid off. Let's just see what's underneath. Very nice, very nice. Ooh. Yeah, so y'all can kind of see how wide those rear tires are. Yeah, 107 millimeters right here. Um, I think it's about, I forget, 50 something wide here. 107 here. And this is 100 meters tall here. And these are a little thinner, so you can see that the difference on there. And if you pay attention, you see how the front end sits down a little bit better for you on that. So very nice, very nice. It is the dips in here are even beefed up to be able to handle these 107 millimeter tires too. So that's one of the things that's been added to it. You got your Smart Tech. You got your uh, Spectrum Smart Tech. Um, technology which is different from you know what we used to with some of the interfractions with the BLX system or whatever and another cool thing that they've done here for you let me turn this uh, spin it around all right Woo. it helped control that heat that we talked about yep heat sink and, and a fan, fan. yes yeah, so they, they definitely did it with that now I will say it's a good thing that they did add that fan but what would have been they could have added a double yep. that's all that's but it. you know, hey, it's good. Yeah, man, it's still it's still something different than what no Arma normally puts out. So exactly. So that's your 2050 KV, you know, uh, motor there. Probably hover wing we branded, but it's still nice, very nice as it is. Okay, uh, 150 amp ESC, able to handle your uh, 6S lipo power. Has its own cap pack with it as well. Um, one thing that did seem to remain the same is that they continued to use the uh, the same servo on them. They could have upgraded that. I guess if I right, had to put my right. tech tip on that, they right. could have upgraded that. Yep. Made that a little stronger too. Uh, so that's probably one of the things you probably want to be do first. Yep, right. You know, improve your servo on that one. Right. Um, let's see. Now, what's cool is that what I like about the V2 uh, infraction is that it has electric brake on it. This one does not have the electric brake on there for right, you right. to do the drifting and everything. But you can see you got plenty of room for you. Whether you run 6S or you run a 2.3, the 1.4 or 2.4S, two, mm -hmm. two LiPo batteries, uh, 2S LiPo batteries, you got plenty of room for that. You got heavy duty um, shocks here, man. You see that your armatures and things like that are nice and beefy, you know. Armor's known for that. And so they follow through with that. Also, this is this brace that doesn't have a shock on the back of it, so it's all stiff. All right, tower, you know, tower, yeah. the tower here and all just nice and solid, man. I am, I am impressed, man, with it. I tell you what, that just, you know, I, I'm a basher. I don't do a lot of street running, but right when I saw this, I was like, okay, 
Maybe I need to cut my teeth on. Oh, something. oh yeah. You know, so this is very nice. So I like. It. Let me pull that out for you. Let me and guys, we will be running this out back as soon as we finish talking about this. We got permission. You know me. I'm finna. We finna run this. <laughs> me and Archie, we gonna switch hands. He gonna film. I'm gonna run. I'm, I'm gonna film. He gonna run. We not gonna let them run. They not gonna come out. Like they ain't allowed to. <laughs> Greg, I said it. But there you go. Is uh, DX3. You know what? And it's cool. It doesn't have, you know, the computer screen that we're used to. But you are still able to set your endpoint on your steering and everything with this. You go into the instructions, got very good instructions on how to set your endpoints, your steering endpoint, and all that. Also, it has your uh, your battery safety meter here for you. So it's not talking about the batteries in the receiver. It's talking about the batteries on the car. Right. So as you're watching that, you can see the life of your battery that's actually in the car, part of the smart tech you know, technology that's going on. Also, you have the ability to run your telemetry on this as well. So, nice. I mean, they really did a pretty good job with this nice. uh, receiver. So, I think this receiver by itself generally runs about 90 bucks. Wow. Somewhere 89, 90 bucks as of right now. Um, but it's worth it. You got your port up top here. Port up top there. So, you can get into that and be able to add your telemetry and your module and everything in there. So, I mean, they did a pretty good job with this. It's, it's, it's not it's definitely definitely a solid vehicle solid now something vehicle. i did see online and i was looking for it as we were talking and it may be covered but there is a there's a piece that's supposed to be oh back yeah back here that's supposed to stabilize your dry shell right. stabilizer exactly and you i'm right. not seeing it, it, it exposed so. yeah yeah so actually it's pretty neat it's, it's a it's an arm that sits there and you see two ball bearings. You'll see two yeah. ball bearings. Right. That are actually touching the rod. Exactly. And it is, it does say that it's equipped with one. So, guys, we just wanted y'all to get a quick look. This is the armor felony. Yes, sir. Now we're about to go out back. We're about to get us a battery. Go out back mm -hmm. and, and get it in. So, y'all stick around, man. It's your boy Life of Coach D. Shout out to my boy Archie. All right. Hobby Town, Sanford, out by Walmart, 1792, right close to Lake Mary Boulevard. So, we about to get some batteries. We about to go have some fun. That's it. That's Look it. at my man. Freeze. Look at my man. My man Seaborn. Yes, sir. My other man Seaborn. He ate. Y'all remember about my uh my black boat drivers? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Hey, but no, man. Yeah, fellas, and as y'all can see. JTRC pointed this out on his video. This is on the underside of the body. This is that body part held down. So, as you guys can see, so the air can flow through nicely. Definitely, definitely, definitely nice. I like the orange, and then you can see back there too. So like I said, guys, go check out horizonhobby.com. Go ahead and pre-order yours today. So, all right, fellas. We, it look, it look. It took the whole team, <laughs> the whole team, to figure out what this little rubber piece was in the parts bag. But she figured it out. <laughs> but no, we we kind of figured it out, everybody. But. Y'all get this little intercooler, and it's just basically to add more detail to make it look like you have piping running inside your body. So that's what this is. Yeah, that's right. Tell him. Tell him. <laughs> Tell him one more drive. time. One more time. Not now. No. Not, no. no. He done. <laughs> so yeah, fellas, we figured it out. So, but yes, sir. Yeah, I don't know why you let it out with that? <laughs> We're about to take it out. Back. All right, fellas, we done. Came out back, more traffic than normal back here, but hey, we gonna make it do what it do. Get y'all a run vid. Yeah, good right turning, but my left. We may have to take a little break and figure out. 
Fraction up. You know pull the farmer and his brush and his uh, BLX printer. Uh, 50% that thing is still stopping. Oh boy, this is a much. Woo! Boy, this is a must. You hear me? <laughs> yeah. oh, yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is I a don't must. Know. I'm gonna say the driver now. I do. Uh, the way D just did that. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Well, hey, let me tell y'all, you can smell the rubber. You hear me? Listen, hey, I'm gonna tell y'all right now. If y'all don't add this to y'all lineup, you crazy. I'm to tell you. This thing is sick, man. Sick. We gonna end it here. We finna still have some fun. Yeah, but it's your boy Life of Coach yeah, D. <laughs> my man Archie. My boy T Born. T trying to hide. <laughs> Hey, y'all stay tuned, man. Shout out Hobby Town Sanford for letting me come out and do this, man. Seaborn. Seaborn out here getting busy. Battery dead. This is going to be my longest video yet. Oh, battery dying. We done battery killed dead. it on him. It, it still got some umph, though. Yeah, that's on low batteries. Hey, that's on low batteries. That's not even on full. Woo! Let's go. Yes, sir. Armor felony. Hit it one time, Seaborn. Hit it. Yes, goodness. Life of Coach D, like, comment. All right, so just so y'all know, he already got tires on order, so, but y'all gonna have to have them because these hooms with this power, that's not even, look, that's not even a full, full run, but that's just showing you how much power I wanna know this thing is laying down. Yes, sir, fellas. Hey. Yes, sir. And we just took it out back and, and, and rode it, huh? Your boy just wheeled this thing out back. <laughs>